Getting hit in the face, getting pricked by a nail, and being burnt all cause pain. Pain is an unpleasant feeling telling you that something is damaging your body. It is a complex feeling affected by a variety of factors, so how exactly does pain work and what affects the perception of pain? Well, all over our bodies are millions of special neurons called nociceptors. When we get hurt, these cells act like sensors and detect the harmful mechanical, chemical, and thermal stimuli. These stimuli cause gates along the axon of a cell to open, resulting in many positive ions to rush in to balance out the negatively charged resting cell membrane. This new plus charge, also called an action potential, is sent down the axon and through other neurons to the spinal cord. The spinal cord is the body's major information highway linking the brain to all other body parts. All along the spinal cord are 500,000 motor neurons, or side streets, which connect the spinal cord to organs, muscles, and glands. When an action potential is created and sent to the spinal cord, these cells quickly activate and send back signals telling muscles to jerk away. This initial movement, called a reflex arc, happens completely without the brain and is a mechanism with the sole goal of protecting your body. Many impulses, however, do go up to the brain, where they are processed in a frenzy of neural activity. Different parts of a brain process the signal differently. For example, the somatosensory cortex identifies and finds where the pain is coming from and the limbic system creates an emotional response. All in all, your brain determines what the problem is and finds a solution to that problem. Your brain creates the sensation of pain. But it's not that simple. For the most part, what I just described is not actually pain, but nociception, which is the activation of nociceptors and the transmission of threat signals throughout the nervous system. Nociception can and frequently does play a part in the perception of pain, such as in all these instances, but it is just one piece of a puzzle. Pain is influenced by many more factors. Stress is a factor, your expectations about treatment are a factor, genetics are a factor, and even your thoughts regarding pain are a factor. However, our current knowledge is limited and we are only at the tip of the iceberg. With research advancing quickly, breakthroughs are improving medicine and increasing the number of pain treatment options. It is important to recognize that pain is not a curse, but a billion-year-old mechanism helping preserve your body.